Look at these two pictures. At first glance, one might think, well, aren't they showing the exact same thing? Truth is, they don't. But both these subjects are some of the most complex structures humans have ever had the chance to study. The first image shows a cluster of galaxies from our universe. The second is just a small neuron in the human brain. After seeing these images, some were quick to compare them. Is the universe nothing more than a huge brain? Now let's not get too excited. Before we go into describing all the similarities between the universe and the human brain, there is something we need to be aware of. It's a little thing called apophonia. And it's when our brains make up similarities between two objects that are seriously unrelated. The best example is when we look at clouds and start to see all sorts of cute animals and weirdly shaped objects. We might be doing the same thing when looking at those two initial pictures. Maybe it's just our brain making up similarities where there aren't any. Some scientists became fascinated with this huge brain universe idea. They wanted to make sure it was not just a weird coincidence. There had to be a way they could measure how the universe compares to the mushy organ inside our heads. So they started with the brain. It's probably one of the most complicated things we know in the whole universe. That's because it's packed with more than 80 billion neurons. These cells are responsible for taking information from our senses and sending out messages all over our body. Try to think of neurons as workers in a factory. They don't just do their work, they actually communicate with each other, thanks to these elements called axons and dendrites. The axons are responsible for carrying electrical signals away from the neuron's body to other neurons or muscles. Dendrites, on the other hand, have the task of receiving that information. All of them together make this mega network of about 100 trillion connections. The universe is one big social network itself too, but this time it's made up of galaxies. You might picture the universe as stars and planets with a ton of empty space between them. It's not quite right. What we can see and measure is known as the observable universe, and it's really vast. Think about 90 billion light years across containing hundreds of billions to maybe a few trillion of galaxies. These galaxies, like the one we're standing in at this very moment, are bundled together in groups. Our Milky Way is friends, in a way, with galaxies like Andromeda and Triangulum. And altogether, they're a family called the Local Group. This family of galaxies is part of an even bigger bunch called the Virgo Supercluster. From what we can tell, the space between them might not be empty. It's filled with these threads made up of regular matter, but there might also be this mysterious dark matter doing its thing. Scientists didn't stop there. They decided to take it a bit further. They started by examining thin slices of the human cortex, the part responsible for our thoughts, memories, and even our consciousness. The next step was to compare them with equally thin slices of the universe from a computer simulation. Now it's obvious there's this enormous size difference between the brain and the universe. But the way they looked at it kind of made them somewhat comparable. As they zoomed in, think 40 times magnification, these scientists began noticing that the structures were very much alike. At this zoom, the brain's neural network looked like the universe's galaxy clusters. To make sure they weren't just imagining things, they used two clever methods. The first one looked at how these networks connected and how densely packed they were. They noticed that the middle part of a neuron, or its nucleus, is way tinier compared to its connecting fragments. Likewise, galaxy clusters are tiny when you look at the super long connecting threads between them. The second method was about checking how organized these networks were versus just being random. They looked at how everything was structured around each connection point, whether it was a neuron in the brain or a galaxy cluster in the universe. The resemblance doesn't stop there. We know that our brain is mostly water, about 70% to be precise. Now the cosmic web in space, it too has about 70% of something, only this time it's dark energy. Water and dark energy may not be the most important elements in each of their structures, but they might still play a part in how everything sets up. The analogy continues. 
You see, the space we'd need on a computer to map out the universe is almost the same as our brain's memory storage. Somewhere in the ballpark of 2.5 petabytes. So, theoretically, a chunk of the universe could fit in our brains. Or flip that, and our entire life's memories could get stored in the universe's network. There are differences too, and we have to be aware of them to make sure we're assessing things properly. For starters, the universe is pretty much the same all over. It doesn't change its composition that much, regardless of where you travel in the observable area. But our brain, not so much. Different parts have different jobs. Also, our brain connections send information, depending on things like what you're seeing or touching. On the flip side, the universe's links are just energy. There's also a difference between how these two structures came to be. It turns out that the patterns we see when we're gazing up at the stars are all shaped by gravity and some weird unseen force called dark matter. Massive fireworks in space called supernovae can also affect this cosmic wallpaper. On the opposite side of the spectrum, our brains got their shape from evolution. That long process where animals, including us, get to pass on the best features and data they've learned to their offspring. So, if a trait like a certain shape of the brain helped our ancestors dodge a hungry tiger, that trait got passed down. Our brains are also built the way they are because they're supposed to act like a superhighway for our thoughts. Quick thinking was crucial for people back in the day when they needed shelter from wild animals or the elements. Now, especially if you're a fan of sci-fi literature, you might be wondering, if the universe is like this immense brain, what might its body look like? We might as well be living in someone else's head. We like to think of humans as evolved, intelligent, and at times, hard to understand creatures. But what if we're just tiny neurons in a larger, more complex structure? Well, for the time being, we can only let our imaginations run wild. There's no way we can test at this point what's outside our universe. By all means, we don't even know how large it is. By looking at the parts we can see, the estimations are that the universe is about 95 billion light years in diameter. Even if we'd somehow managed to travel at the speed of light, though that seems a bit impossible at the moment too, it would take an enormous amount of time to reach those supposed edges of the universe. There's also the theory of the multiverse. We don't have much tangible proof of this idea either, but it does claim we live in a universe out of many. Ours has time and space. Other worlds may have different rules and components. Life may look differently out there in ways we can't even understand. Having a better understanding of the universe is just as important as figuring out our brains. You see, we still have many unsolved mysteries right here under our noses, or behind our noses to be more precise. There are a lot of things we've yet to figure out about the human brain, like how we store and retrieve memories. We know that each time we learn some new piece of information, our brain changes. But we don't have the entire process mapped out, and it looks like it might take a while before we fully understand it.